Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard and today we're going to give you a nice update on Epic Universe and more progress has been made on the hub and each of the four lands there so I'm excited to share it all with you. You can see right here in this video of the, uh, photo of the hub you see all four lands and Starfall, Racial, Starfall Racers roller coaster. I'm making tremendous progress over here um, and even the hub structures are doing are popping up like clockwork with the shows and the restaurants and even the carousel so let's get into it right now on theme park wizard let's start off by looking at the progress of the end park hotel looks like it's rising rising another floor which looks fantastic and yeah the parking garage looks good it's now starting to kind of rise up this will be about 500 rooms not sure how many stories i think maybe 12 to 15 stories so we're almost there we're almost about like, what like a 30 percent of the way there or at least a quarter of the way percent of the way there looking in at the main entrance to the hotel or what will be the main entrance to the hotel see the grand entrance starting to form and what right now is a whole bunch of concrete will be a whole bunch of pavement later on jumping to the how to train a dragon isle of burke let's start into the area we haven't really ever talked about and this is a play area yes how to train a dragon will have a play area for children or for anyone but really you know here towards small children and this right here is a small shop or maybe like a cap uh, like quick service kind of snack shop here that will be next to this play area and behind that that building right there will be the electrical for the second launch for the starfall racers roller coaster which is directly behind this land and in its own land in the hub taking a wider look outside how to train your dragon you can see here's the uh the mead hall and the center of the land as well as the coaster and its nice station that's been fully formed and the exit gift shop to the coaster as well to the left hand side is the mock flash battle boat ride which looks great and still getting its uh theming as well as you know it's uh work on the ride being done and we have a variety of shops and restaurants and throughout the land the coaster is in the back as you can see and the bridge and the front entrance are up to the top over there it's a pretty big land with a lot of open walking space you can't even see the theater where untrainable is going to be because that is all the way almost outside the picture to the left so this land looks fantastic and there's of course the sky uh, the sky flyer um flat ride over there getting ready for its pavement work to be done which will be fantastic taking a close look at the player you can see Rockwork is being installed on the what will be the border, the back border of that play area, and the coaster will go right behind that. As we'll see it in the next picture uh, coming up. But yeah, this will be a fairly decent sized play area. It looks small from above, but that's actually a pretty decent sized area. And I'm excited to see the, excited to see the theming themed elements and structures that will be in this area for the children to play in. Here you have the roller coaster going right behind the play area. That's at number four. That that number three and four are kind of the entrance walk, rock work and exit rock, rock work that's going when it goes behind the play area and into its second launch there's also a potential show scene here you see something's covered up in scaffolding or in tarps to the left hand side so i'm very curious about that number two is the play area right over there and number one again is that entrance to the tunnel for the roller coaster and the pathway which will kind of go for the roller coaster and of course to the left of that is starfall racers which is not part of how to train your dragon but is part of its very own land in the hub another interesting themed element popped up that looked like a like the underbelly of a viking ship and looks to be like a lookout into the lake and what will actually be the splash battle attraction maybe that'll be also one of the spots where you can pay um like a dollar or something and shoot or shoot with water guns the boats as they pass by that would be pretty cool like you can do at uh the oh my god I, the name is blanking on me but in the islands, islands of adventure you can do it on the raft ride um you can shoot from the boat down to the people on the raft so probably something similar will be allowed here another kind of side view of the this uh center of the land you can see the coaster zipping through themed areas themed rock work as well as mead hall right over there looking for some odd work to begin pretty soon as well as the exit gift shop for the roller coaster and the roller coaster itself over there in the back with its maintenance maintenance bay and its first and final launches as well as its themed station which 
The roof is just be is just about done, so I'm excited to see what those elements under the tarps are going to be as well. And taking a final look on the attractions, here is a close look at the splash battle attraction. They covered up the conveyor belt with wood to protect it, with scaffolding to protect it, and so workers can walk over the conveyor belt without ruining it. You can see there's a kind of a berm or wall starting to form or form for this the perimeter of this attraction. And there's again that lookout spot looks like a the underbelly or an overturned Viking ship that you'll probably be able to shoot the boats as they come off or into the um low station. And yeah, excited to see how this particular attraction shapes up and what the boats, the theming of the boats will look like. Moving over to the Mushroom Kingdom, you can see more theming on Yoshi, as well as uh, Yoshi's one show scene, show scene. That is where the pyramids are going to end up going, as well as an elevator shaft to get you from the first floor to the second floor, if you so wish to use it. And you have many stairs that have been done for a while. Um, the paving, there's a lot of paving samples happening um, that are that are in the Super Nintendo World Park, or the Epic Universal parking lot for all different lands and the hub, which looks great. And all those paving samples for Super Nintendo World will be going on that dirt lot down below. You can see the outlines of the hills of the Mushroom Kingdom starting to form in that concrete. And then you can expect the Mushroom Kingdom walls to go up probably very soon. The rest of the area is all in concrete and ready to go. All the details are just happening on the interiors and a lot of facades will be going up. But it looks just like Japan's and uh, <coughs> should look absolutely amazing. A Peach's Castle is getting some work done on it as well, which is great. Looking at the Donkey Kong Minecart Coaster, more, more theming elements are starting to be installed and more framing for theming elements are starting to be installed as well as um, the steel for the temple facade that is going to go up on the right hand side over there. More railroad ties have been, more fake railroad ties have been installed as well. And they're also continuing to do pull through testing on this roller coaster. And it's almost done, which is, looks, and it looks just gorgeous. Another coaster that looks gorgeous is Starfall Racers. You can see they're starting to fill in the roof over there, putting more steel panels on the top over there um, to fill in all those empty holes. And landscaping has been um, introduced as you saw if you watched my previous updates you know that but even more land landscaping has been introduced it looks like a nice park area now it looks like this would be a beautiful setting to go by as you was by at like 70 miles per hour on this roller coaster and lastly we're gonna head on to the wizarding world of harry potter we can see the arch for the entrance to the area has been fully scaffolded now and has the framing or the facade starting to go in so i can't wait to see what this looks like probably look like kind of the portal texture that portal texture which looks gorgeous and as you go over to the center of the land you can see that compact land continuing to look just as impressive as before and if we zoom in here you can see the inside the walkways of of this compact land and the scaffolding starting to um continue to go up and roofing all the theming elements going in this beautiful area of the ministry of magic and in the n tiny nooks and crannies of this land, you can find a large restaurant. This is one of the land's main restaurants. This will be kind of be off to the side of the land. You have to kind of go through an alleyway to find it. And you can see the large building for the restaurant and the small courtyard this restaurant will be in. That's all for this Epic Universe update. Do you like, what's your most anticipated land? How do you like these progress updates? Is it better than you expected? Are you excited to see progress moving along so quickly? Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe to Theme Park Wizard for more updates like this and on other Universal properties and other theme parks as well. And as always, have a epic day!